Over the last month, the S&P 500 is down about 9%. Now, I'm up over 2% in that time, and I've been able to get almost $1,700 in income on a $50,000 portfolio, which is nearly 2%, right? Imagine being paid 2% on your portfolio every single month in dividends. It would be unheard of. Now, with that in mind, I want to walk you through what I'm doing. I want to give an update because I made about a 40-minute video about a month ago talking about the wheel strategy, and I really want to cover this portfolio as time goes on, talk about some of the things I did right, some of the things I've done wrong, and break it all down and show you how you can do something similar. So we're going to talk about that. I'm not going to go through the wheel strategy as much as I did in that video because I still have that video. I'll put it on the end screen so you can watch that one right after this one that goes through what the wheel strategy is. It's basically selling options. Now, selling options can sound really scary, but it's not the same thing as buying options. It's much more risk averse. It's much uh, better for most investors, in my opinion, if you have some capital to start with. Now, I want to go through it here today. If you don't mind hitting the like button and subscribe button, I appreciate that. Let's get right into it. Over the last month, the S&P 500 is down 10%. With the Fed talking about raising interest rates uh, pretty drastically and for a long time, a lot of investors are really worried that we could see a down market for a couple months, a couple years. Some people are saying that it could be similar to what we saw after 2000 when the market was so pumped up that the bubble popped. And yes, it fell down 40, 50%. But the thing that sucked even more than that was that it took seven years to get back to break even. A lot of people don't want that to happen here in 2022. So one way to make money in the meantime is to sell options. This is something that I've wanted to do uh, for a while now, and I started last month. Now, uh, just a heads up, if you do want to start doing this, you can make some free money in the meantime by signing up with the link to Moomoo underneath the video. When you deposit $100, they'll give you... I believe it's 10 free stocks. And if you deposit even more like $2,000, then you can get 15 total stocks. So you can see here, it's actually five for the first 100, 15 after that, if you deposit 2000, it's a great way of making some extra money. Even if you just open the account, you get a free stock. Now, first thing you have to do is pick stocks that you are interested in that you think will do well over the long term for this wheel strategy. You don't want stocks that are just going to be terrible or have no volatility. You want stocks that move around maybe a little bit uh, that you're bullish on long term, but you're okay with giving away some shares if need be or selling some shares. Now, I love Tesla. It's my top position. I've taken some of my shares, about 20% of how many shares I actually have in Tesla, and put it towards a strategy. The reason for that is most months I realize we go sideways, right? <laughs> it sounds really nerve wracking the first time that you sell a uh, a call because you're worried that the market could spike up, especially after we have been going down so much this year. But you have to realize most months, most weeks, we don't really do too much. We go up, we go down, we go up, we go down. It's pretty much sideways for the most part. And what I'm doing is I'm selling calls that are out of the money. So for example, with Tesla, right, we're at $286. Today, I sold the call for 310. So if we moved up $25 in the next few days in the next five days, I would be willing to give up some shares, right? Now we could go up to $350 and I lose up, uh, lose out on some upside just because I still have to sell at 310. But if we don't get to 310, then I collect premium and I get a hold onto my shares, which is best case scenario. Now I am making sure that I actually like the stocks that I invest in, that I feel strongly about them. One of the websites that I use is Seeking Alpha. I just started working with them too. If you use the link underneath the video to sign up, you'll get over 50% off on uh, on your Seeking Alpha subscription. So definitely check them out underneath the video. Now, onto how much I've made. I've been able to make almost $1,700 in profit over the last 30 days. Now, how did I do that? Well, first of all, I have 100 shares of Tesla. That is the main money driver here. Now, I realize that that's a lot of shares and it's expensive. It's about uh, 200 uh, or it's about $28,500 right now uh, in just Tesla shares. You can do this with other companies if you'd rather or if you don't have the capital, but I'm using Tesla shares. I was able to buy uh, 100 shares and then start selling covered calls back on August 25th. So then I sold a call for $3 per share. I got $300. And then basically what I've been doing is when I get really in the profit, if I'm uh, 
if I get down to the last few days and the price of the contract is real low compared to what I sold it at, then I just buy back that contract and sell a new one because I realize that that way I can get a little bit extra premium on the next contract instead of waiting for those contracts to fizzle out. Like for example, today I closed a contract for $12. I bought to close the, co the contract and that was because uh, I sold it for 363. I was up like 98% on that. Uh, and I just closed it so that way I could sell another one. And so far I've made like $100 here today because Tesla's fallen down a bit. So yes, I bought $12 worth, but I have made about $100 worth. So I came out $88 ahead right now uh, of where I would have been if I had just let this sit. Now, I also have 100 shares of Amazon. And this one, I did not include this first payment in uh, for how much I've made this month in the last 30 days because I sold that back on August 10. Now, Amazon costs less. It's about $120 stock right now instead of 280. So I'm getting less premium, but it's still a great position. I still like Amazon a lot. And overall, you have to realize that while I may be getting less in cover calls, how much I'm actually making, like $100, the fact is I am I have a lot less collateral in US dollars, all right? So instead of $28,000 in Tesla shares, I need like $12,000 in Amazon shares. It's also a little bit less volatile, so there's a little bit less premium. And then I also have, I have been selling cash secured puts on Palantir, now, this one is a little bit more volatile because Palantir has been sitting right around $7.50 and uh, I've been selling them for $7.50 strike. So I've been able to make some good profits on this. In the last month, I made $275 and not even a full month, I made $275, which on a uh, position that requires as little collateral as this does, which is $3,750, that is a really good profit in a month. If I did that for the entire year, 12 months, I would get about an 89% return, which is fantastic. So at this rate, I just am going to continue to do this. And then eventually at the uh, at the end of this, I will be probably being assigned some shares here soon. Uh, and then I'll start selling covered calls. Now, overall, I've been making a good amount of money each month. I didn't really start selling anything until the end of last month. So that's why it says I've only made 875 and then 834 because this month's not done. And I sold right at the end of last month. So with the exception of one contract that I sold for Amazon, this has all been within the last 30 days. So again, that's why I say I've been making about $1,680 or $1,680 in the last 30 days. I've also had my portfolio value go up over this time. Now, if I hadn't sold these, if I hadn't sold these at all, I would actually be down on my portfolio. My shares still have done better. My companies have still done better versus the S&P 500. Tesla's done quite well over the last uh, 30 days, but I'm also getting that premium as well. So I will continue to follow this. I want to give you an update. It's pretty good so far. I mean, we're talking about $1,600 on a $50,000 portfolio. That is about a 3% or so uh, return in the last month uh, just on premiums. So if you want me to continue to follow this and talk to you about what I've been doing right and wrong, let me know in the comment section. I think this is something that a lot of people could do, especially if you're trying to hedge against kind of a sideways or down market. Now, I'm not doing this with my entire portfolio. And you have to realize that there are risks to this as well. There are definitely risks, but you can watch the full video that I made on it just to show some of those risks. This is more of a portfolio value update, and I can show you how this premium grows over time as well if you're interested. Thank you so much. Again, check out the links to get some free stocks with Moomoo Moo underneath the video and to sign up for Seeking Alpha if you're interested underneath the video as well. Like I said, I've been using both of these for a really long time, Seeking Alpha for years and Moomoo Moo for over a year. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.